Hey everybody, welcome to Lyle's Friday Podcast. Uh, I did a video earlier this week uh, with the assistance of one of my guys in the shop and uh, what we're going to talk about is the new electric replacement for the vacuum actuator system for the headlights on a 68 to 82. Uh, one of the people we work with closely in the industry has put this kit together. It is super easy to do. It is very, very small. One wire only to hook it into the car. And what we did was just shoot the actual conversion process from a vacuum headlight assembly to an electrically actuated headlight assembly. So uh, you're going to see that come up next and I'll talk to you when we're done. So what we're looking at here are two 68 to 82 headlight assemblies. The point of this video is to show you how simple it is to convert from the vacuum system to the new aftermarket electrical system. We have them out so you can see what we're doing, but this can easily be done in the car. You do not have to remove the headlights. As you can see, my helper Chris here is removing the link uh, from the actuator to the headlight assembly itself, making sure to keep all the little plastic bits in one place. Once he's got that done, he can undo the four nuts holding the actuator to the headlight support. Uh, he will also loosen the two side support struts that you see uh, to make things easier in and out. There goes one. Now there you go. Once you remove the vacuum actuator, you can immediately begin putting the pre-assembled electrical actuator into place. As you can see, the electrical actuator is actually based on the 88 to 96 Corvette headlight motor and is very reliable. They used it for many years uh, and it is extremely smooth and quiet in operation. So he's going to feed the actuator rod through the hole in the back of the headlight bracket, locate the two main bolts, and secure the new actuator assembly to the bracket. Of course, you don't want to forget to add the side supports as you're doing this, because otherwise things are going to get very jiggly and you're not going to like it driving down the road. As you can see, there's a big black wire going from the previously assembled headlight assembly to the motor that he just put onto this headlight assembly. Um, there is only one wiring harness involved here. Uh, it is very simple and I'll, I'll show you that at the end of the video, but this can all be done at one time. There are not a bunch of extra steps to wire this in to make it work. It is a self-contained system with its own brain module. Uh, all you really need to do is put power to it and the enclosed instructions show you exactly how to wire it in and where to locate that brain module. Now Chris is going to go ahead and put the uh, receiver eyelet on the end of the actuator shaft and you'll see he's going to test it and adjust it down to where it slides immediately back into where it was originally. Remembering to put back the plastic guides and everything that you took off, very important. You see him putting that plastic guide in place on the outside and now he's going to put the one back on the inside edge. That allows that shaft to glide back and forth in the aluminum structure and not bind. Add the washer back on and put the lock pin in place.
Don't forget to hook up the springs again. I will tell you that while you technically can do this job laying on your back, uh, I highly recommend borrowing a buddy's lift to do this job. It makes life so much easier and it cuts the time required to do this job in half. As you can see, the headlight is fully assembled. We're going to just snug everything down. Obviously, we've used a nut and a bolt and closed with the kit to secure that rod at the base where it used to be on the stud from the old vacuum actuator. And that's it guys, that is the complete conversion. Everything is ready to go. Uh, if you need to do adjustments once you test it in your car, uh, there are obviously instructions included in how to do minor adjustments. Uh, here you see the headlight control module and the single wire as promised required to make this all work. Uh, it is a fuse link, there's a fuse there and uh, the instructions will show you exactly where that all needs to go and the wire that joins the two headlights simply plugs into the other hole on the module. It just doesn't get simpler than this guys and the function of this system is completely consistent and smooth. Both headlights go up and down. So pretty cool, huh? Nice and easy. Uh, I can't tell you how smooth those headlights work up and down. Uh, it is, you know, normally with the vacuum ones, you kind of get the and it's just not cool. With the electric, it's up, down, quiet, and precise. If you have questions about this kit, if you have questions about how to get it, anything about the function of it, please don't hesitate to contact me at 800-886-5064 or email me at lyle at corvettepartscenter.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember, that's what helps us help you. I'll see you next week.